here is your winner and the new SmackDown Women's Champion, L. A victory worthy of a new champion. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure. Go ahead, pick a time. Pick a time? What are you talking about? I'll let you pick the time for when you lose your SmackDown Women's Championship to me. If I'm going to beat you for it, the least I can do is make it convenient. That being said, is now good? That's a little arrogant and a lot misinformed. You want a title match? I'll be more than happy to make an example out of you. And yeah, now is good. And I'm the arrogant one. All right, <laughs> let's make our title match interesting, because you certainly won't. I'm thinking no DQ. You're on. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Just minutes away from seeing the SmackDown Women's title. Only been around a few years, but it is already one of the most sought after prizes in women's wrestling. So many top names have competed for this title and it continues here tonight. A determined champion, ready to defend her title. Well, this feared MMA grappler is always ready to fight. One of my favorite superstars in the world today. I'm 100% with you on that one, Cole. A women's MMA pioneer. In fact, Shayna Baszler finished most of her matches by submission. And those skills have translated to WWE women's division dominance. Prepare yourselves. This is not for the weak of heart. Expert joint manipulation, unlimited aggression on tap. Focused on dominance, would rather submit opponents than gain a pinfall victory. She's a badass, plain and simple. Shayna Baszler. Introducing the challenger from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. And introducing the champion from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, the SmackDown Women's Champion. Anticipation building to see who will leave tonight as SmackDown Women's Champion. The SmackDown Women's Champion is defending her title tonight against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, in what should be a brutal no disqualification match. Shayna Baszler refused to wait her turn in line, and now she'll have to back up her big talk against SmackDown's best. In WWE, good things come to those who don't wait, Saxton. Shayna's turn is whenever she says so. From the... Oh! The 
Look at this. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Delivering the suplex. The challenger is looking shaken. And Baszler had it scouted. Oh, God. Malicious fall away slam. The springboard attack fails to land. This is her time to shine, and don't you forget it. There she goes. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Well scouted by Baszler. Fez press! Fez press! Get Fez up. press! Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Taking this match off the mat now. Oh, it's gonna happen! Oh! Shayna Baszler is going to need a second win if she's going to have a chance in this SmackDown Women's Championship match. A second win or some outside assistance. We heard Baszler had some backup here tonight, and apparently it's Raquel Gonzalez and Kaylee Ray. This trio seems to have our SmackDown Champions number. Not if Josie Jane has anything to say about it. Josie's getting shut down too. It appears Josie's efforts were too little too late. Baszler's got her in the Kirifuda clutch. The champ is fading fast. She's not going to be able to hold on. She did it with a whole lot of help, but nonetheless, Shayna Baszler is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. The Queen of Spades is now the Queen of SmackDown. Sure, there were some outside factors, but Shayna Baszler pretty much called her shot here tonight. And I, for one, don't see anyone taking that championship away from her anytime soon. So, uh, thanks for trying to help me out there, I mean. I know we've had our differences in the past, but we came up together. And that counts for something. I'm just sorry I couldn't do more. Yeah, well, it seems pretty clear to me that Shayna stacked the cards against me from the start. That no-DQ proposal was just an excuse to have her crew come down and interfere in the match. It's technically legal, but it's a dirty move. I've got to get my title back somehow. Well, like I said, I've got your back. Thanks. Clearly I could use the help. But against the three of them, I think we'll need more reinforcements. What do you have in mind? Since Shayna likes to play dirty, I've got the perfect idea to hit her right where it hurts. I like the sound of this. How much longer is Shayna Baszler going to carry on? Are you going to tell her to stop? Uh, nope. But, before I continue, I just want to say, no disrespect to the former SmackDown Women's Champion, but many people have played a role in my path to dominance. Last week... She just happened to play the part of the woman I got to take the title from. You got your wish, Byron. It's the former champ, and she's not alone, as she's accompanied by Josie Jane. I still would have preferred Saxton interrupting Shayna, but this'll do. I hope you've had a good week playing the part as the SmackDown Women's Champion, because I'm here to get my title back. Except this time, it's going to be a fair fight because I've got a little surprise I've brought someone here tonight to even the odds <laughs> oh boy wow 
So, uh, Josie Jane is your big surprise. <laughs> I know you probably missed it while you were getting choked out, but we already took care of her last week. So, not sure how you think this is going to turn out any differently this time. Not to mention, we actually have a real surprise. I've been two steps ahead of you this entire time, and that continues tonight. These two have my back, but I've held championships with this woman, and you'll soon find out she's an irresistible force. It's Nia Jax! These two were in trouble already against Shayna and her crew. Now it just got exponentially worse. I can't remember the last time we saw a group of women as powerful as the one Shayna Baszler has assembled. Shayna really is on top of her game right now from both the physical and tactical standpoint. The former champion and Josie should just turn around and leave now while they can. Wow. Impressive. But Josie wasn't my surprise. This is... Nia just nailed Shayna Baszler. It's not four on two, it's three on three. Nia wasn't part of Shayna's crew after all. So a drop. The balance of power has suddenly shifted toward the former champ and her crew of Josie Jane and Nia Jax. Shayna said she was two steps ahead, but apparently her adversary was three steps ahead. I can't believe what we just saw, but as a result, the SmackDown Women's Championship picture looks entirely different than it did just minutes ago. 